why the Torres Strait Islander community and the Torres Strait Islander flag in the primary colour. I just welcome anybody else, especially the children, any children with flowers, because they like to come forward and place the flowers down because the, this movement will depend. Yeah. It's just Mike, Mike. And then Mike. if there are any members of the Indigenous community who've got flowers, if you could come forward Mike. and place the flowers. Immortality is memory. That's immortality. And these men now have immortality because they are part of our memory. As individuals and as members of families and groups and friendship groups, a state and a nation. And while we remember them, what we do is we promote that struggle to finish the unfinished business that we spoke about today between Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians in this country. And that's what this ceremony is about. It's about remembering the past, using the past to understand the present, and most importantly of all, to change the future for our children and our children's children. And unless that reconciliation happens, based on justice, not charity, nothing will ever change in this country. So I'd like to thank you for coming. Two hours. I encourage you to bring somebody next year because the council is at a tipping point and we'd like to see at least a plaque here to acknowledge because people think it's bad for trade. You know, at least a plaque. And we will get in touch. So they don't think to the Victorian, Victoria Markets Authority Trust. They have their own trust and board which actually runs the market. They don't actually respond to communication yet. But I might actually have to stand to the board if this is up. So we'll need at least a plaque to acknowledge what's happened. So people shopping can come here and see it. People from overseas, locally, so these are men who pay the ultimate price for doing simple things like defending their family, defending their land, defending their children, defending their culture, defending their religion, defending their way of life. There are monuments across this country to men and women who died in wars overseas in every village, every town, every hamlet, every suburb, every city. But there are no monuments, not even in the Australian War Memorial, to those who resisted colonisation in this land. And this is about ensuring history is recorded, history is remembered, and the future is changed. So thank you very much. And hopefully we'll see you with a friend or two on the 20th of January next year. It's very simple. 20th of January, midday. Call her Bowen and Frank. He's putting it down. Put it on your Facebook. Put it on your Facebook. We want to see more people down there than go to the tennis on the 20th of January. Does anybody want to say something?